January 2022, there I was sat in a tree. Little did I know that ahead of me was some insane moments that artists like myself would dream of through their entire career. You should stick around to the end of the video to see it all unfold. Back to January 2022. It is January and my camera is out of focus. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> through the beginning of the year, I spent loads of time filming little <laughs> live videos to put on my YouTube channel. At this point, I had about 80 songs that were unreleased, so we sat down and picked 12 of the bunch to put on a debut album. So day two, recording the album from the home studio. We have done Blue Moon to lean on Saving Grace. If they do the live version of Hate My Mind, then that's what's going to be done. So we've done Stop, Hearts, did that in London, did that in London. That's from like a year ago, two years ago. Same with that one, same with that one, and same with that one. Currently lost the files for that. So we are waiting and recording bits and bobs on the piano, which is right here. Yay. Day three, we have tracked Hate My Mind today. Boiled in blue, piano parts, bass parts, vocal parts, harmonies, ready for two string players to come tomorrow to this home studio of mine to record an incredible string section. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Bye. Seven thirty-five. Need recording. Uh, all of the violin, piano, mic setup that I did. Boil in blue done. That is the last thing kicked off. There you go. Now we wait. We wait for Jesse and Dave. Dave and Jesse. It's exciting, isn't it? I've lost that lid. Let's get some music, shall we? And we are delighted that joining us this morning is the extremely talented Welsh singer, songwriter, Otto. Good morning, Otto. Good morning, how are you? So tell us your thoughts when you're flying over on the plane. Of course, I really hope I don't die. I am currently in Nashville and I'm tracking an album with Dave Stewart. Can't wait for you to hear it. So what a great album. Do you look familiar? Pushing against my time in Nashville went by in the blink of an eye, and before I knew it, I was back in the UK filming for the first single, Star Cross Lovers. But the video wasn't approved. Hello, um, I'm in London at the moment, and tomorrow we are heading to Abbey Road to master the tracks off of the album. It's gonna be very cool. We'll see you there. So me and Dave Stewart, the producer of the album, headed to Abbey Road Studios to master all the tracks. What a dreamy time it was. And then summer rolled round and I was back in Wales, spending as much time with my band members rehearsing all the songs that I'd written for the album, and yeah, getting ready to absolutely smash all these shows. And then Starcross Lovers version two, filming take number two, Take two, action! Location? Or Star Cross Lovers? I just walked up that. Oh my god, it's so hot. <laughs> but that version wasn't approved either, so I spent as much time as I possibly could just gigging, gigging, gigging until the label found an editor that they liked. And yeah, I was doing this all independently. I don't have an agent or a manager or anything like that. So just want to thank you for coming along. It means a hell of a lot. We're about to head off to our gig in the spice of life in Soho. <laughs> Summer was over and I managed to film some exclusive content for my mailing list, which you should join. Hello, it's me. Usually I do an end of year roundup of like the pinnacle moments in my career through the year. But 2022, I've had a lot of journeys and crazy moments and I don't think a lot of them have completely finished. So I don't want to tell the story uh, fully because the story's not over yet. It has only just begun. Uh, I will see you in 2023 where the story will unfold. I'm very excited. There's lots of things I've done I'm very proud of. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But 
at the beginning of 2023, spent most of my time scouting for locations for the next music video and going on tour with this guy. What an absolute whale of a time. And yeah, constantly keeping up with gigging as much as possible. So it's the morning of Dancing Around the Morning Sun. Beautiful. Location for Dancing Around the Morning Sun on one of the coldest days in the UK. It's been snowing constantly. And we got very lucky and for some reason here it's just like beautiful sun. Action on music! Do you look familiar? Pushing against the crowd. It was hard enough to see her. I swear that you were home. And then I spent some time waiting for the edits of these videos and in the meantime I saw Dave in London, he signed my album book and then on to festival season. And on to take number four, Starcross Lovers, take four, cameras rolling, action! And this time I'm going to let Lewis, the videographer who shot the first, second and fourth shoots, tell you what we're doing. Alright, Lou, what are we doing here? Got the cameras, got two cars, got two marvellous models and front men and stuff and just going to get out there and going to make a video. Then I was back in London gigging and then it was finally time for the release. This video was taken on the launch night. Ah, oh, I was absolutely over the moon. I'd waited so long for it to come out and it was finally out. Hello. We're heading to Abbey Road. I'll see you there. <laughs> I'm coming out clean. We then filmed the video for Hearts, the second single off of the album, at the world-renowned, famous Abbey Road Studios in Studio Two. Can walk along that stream again, cause now we're friends. Woo! There's a winding to okay. love. Hearts. Oh no. But now I know the way. I'm about to play you one of my favourite songs on the Welsh A-list at the moment by Otto O'Day. The song is called Star-Crossed Lovers. And I'm delighted to say that Otto is going to be on the show tomorrow, just after two o'clock. He's going to perform this track for us and a new track from his album as well, which is going to be out on the 7th of October. He's going to be launching that at a gig at Cardiff's Club Ibubach. But before that, we've got the pleasure of having him here live in studio. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. <gasps> that was hard performed live here by uh, Otto Day on BBC Radio. What, what, what's, what's the story behind that song? Uh, so me and Dave are at this one in a hotel room in Soho. This was the night that the whole 12 track album was officially out. <laughs> oh. It's out. It's out. It's out. It's out. Should I open this? Oh. I'm so bad at opening stuff like this. <laughs> and that night the official video for Dancing Around the Morning Sun that we shot earlier that year finally came out. And before I had a chance to fully celebrate, I had to get myself ready to play the debut album launch show down in Cardiff.
and off to play my first ever international festival in Montreal, Canada. This is the first one in Montreal. Bonjour. We are in Montreal and heading to a mixer's event. Uh, Jack's heading to a fine art museum. Woohoo! Um, yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. What a wonderful city. Beautiful weather as well. See you soon! And while I was in Canada, I had a chance to meet an old friend of mine for the first time ever in person. Me and her used to write songs together over Skype years and years and years ago. But yeah, what a dreamy time. And that's my last two years wrapped up just for you. I spent the end of my December 2023 in Stockholm, Sweden with someone that I really, really care about laughing and rolling around in the snow. And looking back on the last two years, I just want to say thank you to everybody who put time and love into the music that I create. And I know I'll catch you in the next one. Hello, it's Editing Otto here. I just want to say thank you so much for getting this far in the video. If you could leave a like and a subscribe, that means so much to me. This video took a long time to create, so I really appreciate every single little bit of support.